Hello all, welcome to oratrainers.com. In this session, we want to discuss about like uh, displaying the multiple rows in a different format based on a position function which is available in the BI publisher. So here you could observe that like in this particular table format, each row is getting displayed in a different color based on the row position. If it is a odd number, it is in a grayed out fashion. And if it is an even number, it is in a white color fashion. And similarly, we have one more format wherein the column names are getting repeated. And also the basic format, which you generally start with is, this is a format where we do we have not applied any format. So now let us see how these three formats are designed. So as we know that if you want to design any BIP report, we require a data model. So the data model, which was considered for designing the sample is this one, like uh, the party table. And as of now, I'm just considered only at nine rows, okay? So now let's start the thing from the scratch now. So I'll just navigate. I'll just navigate the BI Analytics and click on Create Data Model. The starting step to design any reporters, we have to have a data model. So now I'll just save the data model. So I'll select the folder, or if you don't have any folder, you can create it. This is icon to create a new folder. So I'll say XX Prada Row Strip Train TM. So this is a data model. So I'll just click on SQL query. I'll just say query, select the data source as FSCM. Okay, now this step will create a data model and the query is ready. Then click on data. Click on view data so it shows the data now so you can just select the number of rows as more so that like you can see a couple of more samples but still as per the query we have limited it to nine rows it will just display that you can click on export now we have to design our template so i'll just copy this data model to one of the location so i'll just open this so this is our data so now we'll just create a template so I'll just save it first. So I'll select the folder where I want to save my template. TMPL and the file type is rich text format. Now let's load the data. Click on BI Publisher. Click on Sample XML and select the data model data file which you got downloaded from the data model. Now let's click on table wizard and go with the default format table. Next, select the data set as we have only one query. So we'll have we'll be having only one data set here. Click all the columns or the required columns which you want to show in the report. Next and finish. So this is a basic standard format which you get it when you go with the table wizard. Now what we want to do is we want to show Let's see the output first, and then we'll see discuss that. So let's say I click on the output. Now we could see that party ID or party number, party name is getting displayed only once. Let us say I want to display this column name and a value as individually for each particular record. So what I'll do is, so we don't have any option to, you know, like using a wizard, you don't have any option at all, first of all. So for that purpose, what we can do is, let us say I can just copy this particular row, and I'll just paste it. Now, what is the requirement? So we want to display display column name for each row separately. So this is what we want to have it. So now what I'll do is I'll just create one more row. Let's say I want to display three, three rows for each record. Like uh, first one is a party ID. Let's say this is my party number here and party name comes here and party ID comes here. ID. I just controlled control X and V. So here now what is happening? So these are for loop and these are the actual the second for these are all the actual column. Now you just get this end out of this table and also for also as a starting point. So now what will happen is for each for each row for each iteration of this for loop these three records will get repeated and as per our convenient what we want to display it as party id is my column name and party underscore id is like a, this left to side is a column name and this is a value okay 
Now, similarly, I'll just say party number and now say party name. Now, we can just apply a little bit formatting. Control B and maybe you can check it out with the table options and you can apply a little bit formatting. And you can go with the color. Yeah, like this. Now, click on BA Publisher and see how does it look like. Click on HTML. Now, we can see this getting displayed like this, right? Each row is getting displayed as individual columns like this. In earlier, it was just getting displayed like this. And here, this showing extra column. You can just delete that. Let's say you can just simply click on this and click on delete. Delete columns. Now, you can retry again, HTML. And we should be able to display this one, OK? And now, the last format we want to discuss is like a row strip logic using position. So for this one, what we do is, again, you can copy the first, the basic sample like this. And now, next thing is create one more empty row like this. Copy paste the first row. Copy paste the first row. And here, now what we want to do is like a here, we require a function. So I'll just create one. I like a, we have a function called position. So I'll just create one more column to the right. This is only for reference purpose position function and you can just see the position function the logic is like this just copy this and enclose that in the syntax as per our BIP so this is how you can use the function display you can, you can display this function this is only for reference purpose it is not required to be displayed in real time now so what we want to do is we want to apply the condition so the first condition is let us say wherever if the row num is a specific one if it is odd or even i want to show in a grayed out fashion another one is a normal white color fashion so for this one let us say if at all if it is an odd row if at all if it is an odd row nothing but if the reminder is one so i want to display it in a grayed out fashion so i'll just click on f and click on help text if at all, if it shows like this, right, don't disturb this. So better what you can do is you can click on BI Publisher Field Browser again. So here, if you observe, this is the one and not even that, that one. So we want to up change the above one. So just click here like this and you can see which is highlighted. Based on that, you modify it. So in the for loop, I added an if condition. Okay, in the for loop, after the for, for condition, I added if condition like this. Click on update. And similarly, and in the end for each, right? So this is the one, not that. You can click here and double click here once. Yeah, so this is fine. So here we want to apply the end condition. So just simply take end condition like this. And you can rename it like this, end if for reference purpose. Now here, next one so here what we want to do we want to apply only the if condition and you can click on add help text yeah if at all if it shows like this it may not work properly generally yeah we can still retry so here what we want to do is here i'll say position modulus is equal to zero this for even row click on okay okay and recheck it whether it is correct or not yeah it's fine and now, let's double click here. And we need to apply the end if also. We have to apply the end if also like this. So, end if like this. And generally, you rename this form element so that you know, like we can understand okay, we have each condition and also we have the if condition. So, like that. So, end if each, something like this to understand for our reference purpose let's try now click on html and you can see the output how does it look like so now you can observe here the position function is returning the row number generally a row num in the pl sql logic and the position function also we have a b in bi population and you can observe here wherever we have an odd row it is in a grayed out fashion wherever you have a even row it is a white color fashion so and this kind of formatting we can apply on the column level also. We can discuss the column formatting in the next coming session. But in this particular session, we just discussed only the row format one. 
and yeah that's all about a position functioning and row stepping logic in the oracle vm thank you